Hey, what's up, everybody? Shane Terrio here. Thanks for joining me today. Hey, you guys like Van Halen? I love Van Halen. I'm having a Van Halen day today. It's always Van Halen day around here, but I was going through some things and I found a couple of picks that I had uh, boxed away from the move. I just, you know, got me in this mood. So, uh, Dweezil Zappa lives not too far away from me. He's a friend. And sometimes I go over there and we jam. And one time I was over there and we were handing this guitar back and forth playing. And uh, we would hand each other the same pick and everything. And when we got done, Dweezil put the guitar up and he goes, oh, yeah, man, you can keep that pick. It's actually a Van Halen pick. That's all he said. So when I got back home, I looked at it. I was like, wow, that's cool. I've never seen this one because I have a few other Van Halen picks. And I, I texted a picture of it to my guitar tech, who's also a big Van Halen fan. And he goes, dude, you got one of the gold ones. And I said, what does that mean? He goes, man, the gold ones came from Eddie himself. In other words, he didn't have his tech throw him out into the crowd or, you know, something you could get off a of fan club. This is, Eddie had these in his pocket. He only carried like a reserve. This was the reserve stash of the higher echelons like Dweezil would got, had, had a stash. So this came directly from Eddie. And on the back it says, Bud Jewy. I don't know what that means. I'm guessing it's some some secret code, uh, rock and roll debauchery term, jargon, I don't know, but probably. And um, this one is F-U-C-K tour, um, Foreign Law for Carnal Knowledge, was at uh, early 90s. It's very thin. I don't use it anymore. It should be under glass. This one came from a guitar tech that I had on a tour. He worked with Eddie. This came directly from Eddie, too. This one's 2012. It's a Herco pick. I have a couple others. Zeke Clark was a tech for me. He was uh, Eddie's tech during the Sammy Hagar years. Yeah, I never got to meet Eddie. I got to work with Sammy Hagar a few times, um, played with him and Michael Anthony, sat in with them. But And I've heard all the stories, and I had friends that were friends with Eddie. Just never happened. It, it almost happened a few times. And, and I got to go on stage um, a few years ago. Holland Oates Band was invited. Van Halen let us stay on the catwalk and watch the show. And I mean, I was, you know, 25 feet from Eddie, uh, line of, his line of sight. And um, after the show, we were texting, not me and Eddie, but myself and a, uh, a conduit to Eddie's uh, wife or assistant, I forget. And Eddie had sent word, say hi to Daryl. And I said, you know, why don't you come on the show? And I got word back, said, tell Daryl to call me and just never happened. I don't know, man. One of those things, it would have been fun. But um, so anyway, Eddie's got so many great licks. I just was thinking of some open string things that are kind of cool. I mean, well, broke a string on the SG, so now use my Strat. All right, first open string lick that is a classic is from I'm the One off of Van Halen One record. And it's not actually that hard to figure out. It's hard to get it to swing and execute it the way Eddie did. Eddie had a swing and a, a pocket that was just crazy. His sense of timing was so great. And it's actually easier to play with a drummer, but what the hell, here he goes. <laughs> That's a lick. It's hard as hell to play without a drummer and you have to mute it to get it to speak because it's all open strings. So it's a rake across an A minor triad. Seventh fret, fourth string, A. Fifth fret, fret, third string, C. That's a um, E, fifth fret, second string. So, and then you pull off to an open B. Hammer on 7th fret, pull off 5th fret, pull off to an open G, hammer on to 7. That's the... And then you move that down a set of strings. So... That's one. You can move that down. You know, you can move it around, probably get some cool licks out of that. 
when you talk about open string repeating rapid fire riffs you know jimmy page did the old that thing but eddie took it to another level i mean check this out that's a lick from I'm the One, and there's also variations of it that he used in Eruption and Hot for Teacher. So the pattern is like this. It's an open, we're on the seventh fret. First, it's an open E, and then you hammer on to 10th fret, that's an A, second string. Pull off to the seventh fret, uh, second string, that's F sharp. Pull off to an open B, and then hammer on to that F natural, which is a third string. 10th fret. And then I'm muting with my right hand to keep to get the notes to speak. So that's from I'm the one. Um, it's a quintuplet. I know Eddie didn't sit around, but I'm going to write a lick with a quintuplet. But for those of you that are interested, it's a group of five. So it's one, two, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. That's why it sounds so twisted, because it's just it's just a hip, uh, you know, rhythmic. Uh, what do you call it? You're forcing five in the space of a note. <laughs> a little side story. I remember when I was studying with Scott Henderson, and I asked him about the solo he played on a Chick Corea record, and I said I can't get the phrasing, and Scott goes, "Man, it's just a." Uh, it's just a descending, you know, whole tone, uh, but it's in it's in quintuplet, so it's and I was like, ah, I couldn't figure it out. And Scott goes, dude, it's like this: Scientology, Scientology, Scientology. Scientology. <laughs> Scott had this thing against Chick for, I don't know, but I learned what a quintuplet was that day, and now you will know the rest of your life. So there's that. You can move it down a whole step. It's been years since I've played that, but he plays a variation of that lick on Eruption. And if you move it down to F sharp, you get uh, the Hot for Teacher. Something like that he would do. So those are a couple of licks for you that are fun. They're challenging as hell. Eddie Rules. Hey, thank you for tuning in. Hit like, subscribe if you like this. I'll be back. Terio out.